My name is Phil Sundahl. This is Jesse Burrell, the CEO of Batch, and we're super, super excited for this webinar. This is a great niche for you guys to learn a little bit more about and go find a lot more deals. I spent a lot of time behind the scenes, not just making Batch better, but finding people that we could work with that could add more value to you guys so you could find more deals. And I think this is a really good one today. We have two fills here today, but I'm really excited to get this going, guys. Yeah. And Philip Vincent is here joining us today from uh, Mom's House. Thanks for joining us, Philip. And you know, one of the things we're going to talk about today, and as investors, whether you're fixing, flipping, wholesaling, buying, holding, whatever that is, everyone knows that there is an inventory problem right now, right? With the way markets are, with the way interest rates are, deals are just harder to come by these days. But Philip's got a very interesting angle on the market that he's perfected that is going to give you guys access to leads in an unexpected way. Philip, thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk about folks who are transitioning into senior living and what that means for investors and the opportunity that lies within. So give us a little overview. Talk to who are you? When did you get involved in senior living? What are we talking about today? First of all, thank you, Jesse and Phil, for having me on. Batch has a, just a phenomenal reputation for data, right? We're trying to find the right list of people, right? If you're going to be in this business, you don't have anything until you have a lead list or somebody to go after or to target. And so you asked me about my origin. I've been in real estate for 25 years. I won't bore you guys with that story. But back in 2011, I was tasked with for every deal that we we're going to find via direct response marketing, can we also find a deal by relationships? And so most people went after building relationships with other wholesalers and other real estate agents, which guys, that's a good way to do it, to start. But what I found about those people that are real estate agents or other wholesalers is those relationships are kind of fickle. You might get a deal or two from them and then they move on. Or the real estate agent, do you really think you're the only one that they're sending their investor deals too, right? Unless you're married to them, that's probably not true. And so what I found, you know, in the stereotypes in 2011, we had bought 66 houses that year. And I said, what's the stereotype about this seller? And we started to really unpeel the onion a little bit about, and guys, this conversation today is about not the bricks and sticks that we buy in the houses, but it's the human, the, the person, what's going through the human journey. And we've said, man, a lot of these people, you know, the dad had passed away eight years ago, mom just fell down again. And this time she has to move into senior living and the adult children who live on average 400 miles away, they're going, I don't want to get the house retail ready. I don't even live in town. And so they, and, and they just got this shocking news. The average cost of senior living guys is $6,000 a month. Only 5% of Americans have that money to where they can just write it out of their checking every month. And the other 95% need to sell an asset, namely mom's house. And so that's where this kind of started in 2011. And I started going after the senior living industry and I did everything wrong. I walked in as an investor with my big personality and just this whole industry is way more mundane and, and sweet and loving. And I want to stress that guys, if you're a ramrod guy, you're going to have to adapt or find somebody to go build these relationships in senior living differently because the investor world, you know, we're churn and burn and big data and all this stuff and just send the mail and all this is relationships is where this started. And so today what we're going to talk about is something that I've dreamed about for over a decade. We now have the ability to find the adult children and the seniors in real time when they're searching for senior living. We're talking intent data here. Those of you guys who use batch leads, you're familiar with being able to search for things like age or situations or financial distress factors. We're talking about actually finding people who in real time are looking to move. Let's get into yeah. it. So the Family Referral Network, we own a network of senior living sites where people search for senior living. So aggregation of websites where people are in real time are searching for communities. And so from that, we pull their data and I'm excited to share with you what information we know about these families. Uh, the, you know, the daughter Judy here, she's searching for her mother. She's probably in her 60s. So when I say daughter Judy, she's probably a 65 year old woman herself searching for her 85 year old mother. And she's trying to find her mom the best care. And so we said this earlier, but it's called intent flags. When, when she's searching for senior living, there's a serious intent. And, you know, she's helping her mother who's 85. This is chat GPT's version of what that looks like. The, <laughs> these boomers in there. I mean, look at that. I mean, the silver tsunami is here. And the reason why there's so much stuff, guys, uh, we always lovingly say that mom wasn't quite a hoarder. She was a bit of an aggressive collector. And it's nobody's fault. It's just when you live somewhere for 50 years, you collect a lot of stuff. And so where will mom get the best care? What do we do with the house? What do we do with the stuff? That's the three-legged stool. And so this silver tsunami, you know, the word tsunami is actually kind of a negative word. It kills everything in its wake, you know, in its path. It's such a big number of people that our own government doesn't know what to do about it. And over half of real estate in our country is owned outright by boomers. 
So if we're not focusing, why would we focus on divorces or why would we focus on people in their 20s? It makes no damn sense. The people that are boomers have all the equity. Why are we not focusing exactly on that? And then, you know, there's this conundrum right now in the market. People don't know where the inventory is coming from, but let's just compare the two. So this is like two months old, I guess, September, three or four months old here. September of last year, CNBC saying Americans are sitting on $30 trillion in equity, but who are those people? Well, the top line here is all boomers. It's 80% of those people are boomers. They own all the houses. Yet the Wall Street Journal a couple of weeks ago says, hey, America's biggest landlords can't find houses to buy either. What do you mean BlackRock doesn't know? Did you just see the other number? It's like these 50 million people, that is where it's going to come from. So big industry doesn't know where to find houses either. Yet I'm sitting there going, I know exactly where they're going to come from. They're going to come from boomers and their parents moving into senior living. I mean, look at this right here. Between the year 2020 and 2030, we're going to go to, from 54 million to 72 million people in our country that are over that age. Every one of these charts is pointed straight up. So we have a network of senior living sites. Here's some of them here. We grab data from people searching in real time for senior living, and we created the daughter Judy list. And so our mission as a company is to help 30,000 families a month. Right now we're helping about 10,000 families a month. And so with your help, with people that want to get involved, we want to help you guys get into this niche. Once you figure out that, Hey, this is where I should be spending my time. Now, how do you do it the best way? And so this silver tsunami, these 10,000 people a day, they're going to need to unlock their equity for care. So how does the family referral network work? How to unlock the power of real-time senior living leads? And what is this daughter Judy list? You know, this is what we've been talking about today. These people are searching for care right now in real time. And we have the ability to send them direct mail within four or five days from the moment they're on. So if they're at three in the morning and they're doing a search within five days, they can have your piece of direct mail. When I say your, these are exclusive leads to you. Your piece of direct mail can go right to that family that's looking for care. And why does that matter? Well, it's because they're in that moment of figuring out how they're going to pay for this. When they get the shock of what senior care costs, they're like, I need to move mom into senior living, but where's the six grand a month going to come from? And so that is where the key features of this daughter duty list. These are real time leads. I'm going to show you here in a second what information we have on them. And you guys are going to be very excited about that. We have an interface where you can check every single day that your leads coming in, but whatever CRM you use, you can export that file into your CRM so you can do your email follow-ups, however you guys do your business. So what you do is you select your county, you receive your tailored leads, and then you have the ability to put your message in front of those families. So here's some of the information. There's a guy named Brian. There's his email. You know what time he was actually on the site. And then look at this, guys. I'm going to show you what all the information we have. You have their name, their email, their age, what type of house it is. Are they a homeowner? Their home's value. Are they single? Are they married? Their income, their gender, their credit score, how many years they've lived in the home. Do you think that matters? To Absolutely. me, it, oh my gosh. I, if they live there two years or 50 years, I'd rather talk to the person that's lived there 50 years. Their net worth, how long they've lived there, current age in the mortgage, if there is one. This is information we have. But now check out the bottom right corner. This is the cool thing is we know exactly that Martha was searching in DuPage County, Illinois, Mm. And she was looking at Ch uh, Chateau Nursing and Rehab Center. That yeah. gives you the warm and fuzzies that she is. This is real. This is happening right now. She's looking for care. Um, even better, let me show you something else about that was the uh, she was searching from Ohio. And so what that tells me was that if she's in Ohio searching for Illinois, that's actually the adult child looking for the parent because they're going to be moving their parent into senior living. And that's the uniqueness of this, whether it's the senior or the adult child. It's been very hard for me in my 12 years in senior living to find the daughter, Judy. If she lives 400 miles away, how do you find them? It's very, it's very fragmented. And now we have the ability to do that. These are exclusive real-time leads. Um, we have a Bill, different way. To... Go ahead. I got, I got a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. So obviously, you know, if they're using batch, they could, you know, skip trace these people. Once you have their property address, that's all you need. So you could, you can make yep. a phone call. Are you trying to get in contact with daughter Judy or the actual um, homeowner of that? And then let's say you were to, because you're giving these exclusive lists. And this is what I really liked about this is what you're doing. And I don't know if you covered it completely, but you're giving exclusive rights to a county with leads that are coming in yep. um, to whoever, you know, buys that county. And that's why I really wanted to do with you because- People know and people that are on here that use batch, you know, you're just doing uh you're building your list, you're doing a lot of cold outreach. These are these are warmer leads. 
So these are, but they're not like a full PPC lead. So it's in between a cold lead and yeah. a warm lead. And I just was wondering is if you were to, you know, call that, that guy you talked to that showed Michael with all of his information, you know, how do you position that phone call? Because yeah, you want to send direct mail and so on and so forth. But like, you know, I would also call that person. I'm not the one that's ever going to have a piece of direct mail go out and just wait for them to respond to me if I have their information and I could actually outreach to them with an idea of what's going on. But you may not want to say, hey, I understand your exact situation and you know we we know exactly what's going on. So how would you position or how would you teach the people on this call on yeah. uh, what that would look like? Sure. And so let's just, you know, the big brotherness of this, let's just talk about it. We don't give the phone number for a reason. Can, can you use batch service to ship chase them and call them sure you can't right but we're doing direct mail and cold email outreach so if you choose to do what you just said jesse which i understand completely the word is wisdom and when you have wisdom that means you have information that you don't necessarily need to use it so because of um the, the rights of consumers and things like that you would never want to go on and say i know you've been searching online for senior living like it, it that's <laughs> that's the strat like that's not the strategy here but because you have that wisdom of knowing that they are what's really the question and and on your direct mail and those things the, the really it's the headline is saying are you thinking about how you're going to pay for long term care all good sales is a conversation. So how would I position it? Guys, it's no different than any other, hey, are you thinking of uh, uh, selling a house to pay for long-term care would be my question. So I would go right at it. Like if I was having a conversation with that person saying, hey, if you're going or, or, or thinking about moving a loved one, whether it's themselves or daughter Judy. And so you, you asked me a question. It's the same message, whether it's the adult child or the senior. I like the adult child better only because that's when the, the family's stepping in to help the parent. Very rarely am I dealing with the senior, only the senior. I like to deal with the family for lots of reasons, but it's because it's a group effort now to try to get mom into care. And so that's that's the magic of the, that's why we call it the daughter Judy list. Sometimes it is the senior, but now having access to the decision maker or what's called a POA or power of attorney, that is a really hard list to find. And that's the magic of what this is. Never have I, even in my 25 years, had access to this until now. So like, this is exciting for me too, because that's the person is the one that's helping make decisions. And so when they're realizing we're going to move mom into garden view at that same moment, they go, and how are we going to pay for this? That's when they need to sell the house. And so if you can position it in an empathetic way that you're there to help them, we like to use the word or the term unlock their equity for care. That's what we do is help them unlock their equity for care. Think about what they're doing, guys. They're trading that home's equity. So now they have the money for care. And so, that's so kind of we, exciting. This is $97 a month, guys, for this program per county. And so we sell this exclusively. And we talked about this earlier. Why do we do it exclusively? If I have a list, why don't I sell it to the 15 people in Maricopa County that want it? The reason why, to the detriment of my pocketbook, is it's not the right way to do it. And I'll tell you the reason why, guys. Imagine 15 people using this service and they hit grandma's mailbox or daughter Judy's mailbox with the same message 15 times. And I think that's the hard part of our industry right now is we're all mailing the same list, right? We don't have this uniqueness. This family referral network is only sold to one person per industry. I share with you guys in a second, this is bigger than just real estate. There's elder care attorneys and placement agents and insurance companies that all subscribe to this data because these families, when they do move into senior living, they need so much more than just to sell the house. They probably right. need 40 or 50 things. We're just this one little real estate side. And so the price at $97 per county, that's a pretty cheap and affordable price. And I feel like this picture I'm showing, it's kind of funny, but do you feel like this is the security level of your business right now? You know, like it, we, we all feel like, hey, I got a gate up, I've got my gate, but is it really doing its job? And I feel like right now we can be a change. Not only, Mom's House is really big on the impact of the world uh, because we know if we put people first and surround them with solutions, we get to buy all the houses we want. And in the end, I think that's why everybody's on this call right now is we're trying to find a new way to buy houses, but it, you can be the change in the world to help, you know, help us help these 30,000 families a month. Um, to, yeah, to sign uh, up to Philip, a couple, yeah. couple questions and yeah, go ahead. address them real quick. Well, before we jump into those, Jess, I do want to uh, address one thing. Uh, Philip, can you please actually go back a few slides that shows everything that's included in your leads? I yeah. want to clarify too that the beauty here, guys, I know you guys get your list from batch. This is a list you're not going to get in batch because again, it is people who are currently researching this. Yep. And a couple of you asked, you know, hey, how do I use the two together? And and a couple of you asked about high equity. I would say that, you know, this is a this is a lead here. This is something you can work that you're getting from mom's house. But 
you know, if you want to use Batch as well, you can plug this address into Batch and find out what is the exact equity they have. Do they own other properties in their portfolio that have other equity and other properties you can unlock? So I would recommend that you guys use Batch to do additional research, arm yourselves with more knowledge and more understanding of the family and their assets and their equity to then help you make that engagement, help uh, help your pitch really. Yeah. Um, so I, I just wanted to mention that for those of you asking how those work together, this is the source of the lead here, mom's house. Batch can provide you extra information on the equity, the properties, more contact information, other ways to engage. That's how I'd recommend you you think about using the two together. Yeah. And then $97 yeah. a month. Um, yes, that's for, true. For and that's why I, I yep. brought Phil onto this was I couldn't believe he's giving exclusive leads um, right now in a county for $97 a month. Um, he's, he's, proving out concepts, showing how this could work. I don't know if it's going to be that price forever, but I wanted, you know, our community and you guys on getting into this early um, because you're not going to find uh, semi-warm leads uh, for this price anywhere else. And the next question they asked, Phil, and I need you to answer this one was, you know, I, I know each county is a little bit different, but I guess how many leads are you um, normally or each county normally getting on a monthly basis if you want to kind of average it out? I was, yeah. um, that was one of the questions that was asked. Yeah. There. Kendra, I, I know. Thank, you, thank you for the question there. And the other part of her question is, uh, can you choose other locations as well? Or is it just the County you live in or close proximity? How does that? No, it could be any there? County that you want. It's just, um, uh, I don't know how many you've sold out already, Phil. So this is obviously, I wanted to get you on to be one of the first webinars. Cause I think a yeah. lot of our people on this call are probably going to want to scoop those up because this is a really good offer and um at batch we, we want to add value to you guys and if, if we're not able able to provide it through our services particularly i want to partner with the right people to help you guys have more success and that's why um i'm per, uh personally on this call too because i was really really excited about this uh be, being a wholesaler investor and agent in the past um i know the importance of of leads and and how you could unlock some more deals yeah, I don't even think it, you don't have a business until you have leads, right? So that's how important it is. And so I'm going to answer your question. Uh, I've been in real estate for 25 years, and now I never thought I'd know as much about counties data as I do <laughs> now. But I, you know, I do know a lot. There's 3,300 counties in our nation. Uh, 2,700 of them almost mean nothing. There's 625 counties that are the big counties where most of the people live. And so when you guys go to uh, check out, if your county's not there, that means we've already sold it out. So if you don't see it, that just tells us that we've already hit capacity. And so um, to answer your question, obviously how big your county is and, and search data will vary by county. Um, I would say anywhere from 10 to 40 leads per month is what you should expect with that blended average probably being in that 25 range to 30 range uh, leads per month. And, and so, you know, th that's the average on a normal size county, uh, depending on where you live. So you're, you're paying three to four dollars a lead. That is absolutely unheard of. To be to be completely honest with you. So, what other questions do we have, guys? Let's see. So, you sell each uh, county data to only one person. If so, can I purchase my county? Will I be the only person? Yes, that is yes. that is correct. That's right. correct. Ruth, thank you for your question. Why are these leads warmer? If you're using batch leads right now, you can do something like go and say, hey, show me all the people over 65 who have lived in their house for a long time and they might have high equity. And that is a list you can work. Yep. But that does not tell you of those 20,000, 50,000 people that fit that bill, who are the thousand of those that are right now looking for senior living that are going to be preparing to sell their house soon? That is the difference between the sort of just data-driven cold lead you can get in batch leads today versus the intent-based lead that Phillips and Mom's House is providing you guys with this service. You know, when you mail to that list, I've sent to that list for 10 years, you spray and pray and waiting for them to say it's the right time. With this, I'm telling you guys, that's that moment they're like, I don't need to sell. Boom. I need to sell. It's that flashpoint. And then someone asked the main county I work in isn't showing up. So the, obviously that's been sold. Is there any, sold any way people could get on a list though, to where if that does come available that they could, um, how would yeah. they go about doing that? Just do uh, support at uh, family referral network. And I'll get you guys on that list. I wish I could sell it over and over again, but it's, just, it's not the path we chose. We wanted to do it exclusively. And so these counties, these 625 counties that have a lot of traffic, they will sell out guys. And so that's the other reason why we did the annual billing. It's like the people that commit to this, I want to, you know, we're committing to each other here. I want somebody that's going to be serious about helping these families. Oh, does the lead have daughter Judy's contact info or just the address and name of the elder person? Can it be both or is it normally the daughter Judy? I'd say it's about half and half. And so 
you'll usually notice it when we know where they're searching from. And see, this is the magic. If they're in Ohio and they're searching for Illinois, that's daughter Judy's address. But why that's so magical is I've never had her address before to target her with messaging, right? Or email. And so she's searching for her parent. So getting a message to daughter Judy is something I've never had in my 12 years of senior living. That's why I'm so excited about this list. And this goes back to what, you know, when you get this intent data, this is where you could go into batch and uncover further, you know, what person that is, what house it is, how long they've had it. We have demographics on age and stuff like that. You'll be able to kind of figure out, is it daughter Judy or is it the elder person? And then crafting your message. Um, yeah. Ali also asked, how often will you be sending mailers to individuals on this list? And do I have the pay additional for the mailers? Um, I'm sure you have to pay additional. Phil, any last thoughts that you want to give here? Yeah, this is bigger than we realize for anyone in their real estate. So if you guys want to learn more about how to actually go build relationships in senior living, that's what we teach. So this is data, people searching in real time, but you can go build relationships too with the industry. And it's a specific way to do it. If you look at investors are known to take advantage of people and seniors are known to get taken advantage of. And I built a business around that. It's like, that sounds crazy when you say it that way. But if you have empathy, if you have love in your heart and you are good at building relationships, this is a business that you can, it'll be here for the next 15 years. This is not trendy or sexy what we do, but it's real. And I think the silver tsunami guys is a once in a lifetime opportunity. My mentor said, you're going to work in senior living, whether you want to or not. So you might as well embrace it. And I feel like it's one of those things where you're going to have a secret lead source that nobody else really gets. And so I've been out here telling as many people as I can, this is where the inventory is going to come from for the next 15 years. I think this is a wrap, guys. Thank you everyone for joining us. We're going to continue to host webinars, but we'll bring you new ways to get leads, more ways to grow your business. Philip, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for giving our customers exclusive access to try and sign up for these counties first. We love that. Thank you guys all for being here. You'll get an email from us soon and grab your county before it's gone. Oh, 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 o